Peppa goes to hospital. Today, we are going to visit Pedro Pony in hospital, Madame Gazelle tells the class. Pedro's leg is broken, and the doctors are mending it. Peppa has never been to the hospital before. Except when I was born, of course, Peppa says. I'm wearing my nurse's outfit, <laughs> Susie Sheep says, because hospitals are very serious. But when the class arrives on the children's ward, the walls are full of colour. Ooh, they all say as they set off to find Pedro. <laughs> Pedro is in bed with his leg in a plaster cap. Does it hurt? Zoe Zebra asks. It did at first, Pedro says, but not anymore. Do you want to draw on it? What's it like being in hospital? asks Peppa. It's great, replies Pedro. Nurse gives me stickers and comes whenever I press this button. Another nurse comes over with a trolley. Lunchtime, she says. Spaghetti and sponge pudding, please, says Pedro. Hmm. Wow, you get to eat in bed, gasps Peppa. Dr. Brown Bear visits Pedro. You're nearly better and ready to go home. The bell rings. Visiting time has ended. Get well done, wave the children. A few days later, Pedro is back. Where is your plaster cast? Ask his friends. My leg is all better. It's a super leg now, Pedro says. <laughs> Thank you for visiting me in hospital. The End Peppa Pig, Peppa and her Golden Boots It was the day of the big puddle jumping competition. Peppa and her friends were practicing jumping up and down in muddy puddles. My daddy always wins, boasted Peppa. He said the first rule of puddle jumping is to wear your boots and mine are very special because they are made of gold. They are not gold, replied Susie Sheep. <coughs> They're yellow. They are not yellow, they're real plastic gold, protested Peppa. Would anyone like some orange juice? called Mummy Pig from the house. <coughs> yes, please, replied everyone. <coughs> they ran inside, leaving their boots outside the front door. When Peppa and her friends had finished their juice, they headed outside to put on their boots. Oh no, my boots have gone, sobbed Peppa. <coughs> Mr. Zebra arrived with the post. I've just seen a duck with boots on, he said. Peppa sniffed. Were they gold? No, yellow, he replied. His duck came running down the hill wearing Peppa's golden boots. <coughs> Peppa ran after her. Mrs. Duck, can I please have my boots back, please? But Mrs. Duck did not want to give Peppa's boots back. She didn't stop running until she reached Captain Dog's boat. No one could stop Mrs. Duck. She leapt into the water and swam away. Captain Dog started his engine. I think my boat can go faster than that duck, he exclaimed. But Captain Dog's boat could not keep up with Mrs. Duck. Hmm, that's a fast duck, he said. Mrs. Duck finally stopped at a little island where Grumpy Rabbit had been shipwrecked when his boat capsized. 
Mrs. Duck has my boots and she won't give them back, Pepper called. Don't worry, Pepper, replied Grumpy Rabbit. Mrs. Duck has nowhere to go. But then Mrs. Duck started flying and she was still wearing the boots. Oh, no, cried Pepper. Mrs. Duck is flying to the moon with my boot. Don't worry, Peppa, said Grumpy Rabbit, pointing to the neighbouring island. We'll take my rocket. Uh, I really don't think Peppa's boots will be on the moon, said Mummy Pig. Nonsense, insisted Grumpy Rabbit, helping everyone into the rocket. Five, four, three, two, one... Blast off! <laughs> On the moon, Peppa and her friends searched everywhere for Mrs. Duck and the golden boots. Let's ask at the shop, suggested Susie Sheep. <laughs> you don't get shops on the moon, exclaimed Daddy Pig. <laughs> Both guards! called Mrs. Rabbit from inside her gift shop. Ice cream, buckets and spades! Meanwhile, Grandpa Pig had spotted Mrs. Duck in his garden. <coughs> Those aren't your boots, are they? he asked. He quickly dialed Daddy Pig's number. <coughs> oh, hello, Grandpa Pig, said Daddy Pig. Yes, Peppa has lost some boots. We'll be right there. Next stop, Grandpa Pig's garden, announced Grumpy Pig. Peppa bounced excitedly out of the rocket. My boots, my golden boots, she exclaimed. Thank you, Grandpa. Grandpa Pig helped Peppa to put her boots on. Now we can go to the puddle jumping competition, said Mammy Pig. Oh, yes, agreed Daddy Pig. We'd better hurry. The big puddle jumping competition was about to begin. First up, Daddy Pig, cried Mr. Potato. Daddy Pig took a giant leap and made a very big splash. Then it was Mr. Elephant's turn and Mr. Elephant made an even bigger splash. Mr. Elephant is the winner, announced Mr. Potato. Peppa cleared her throat. Please, can I have a go too? She asked. Oh, of course, replied Mr. Potato. And can all of my friends help? Peppa added. Mr. Elephant was not pleased. Mm, hang on, I don't think that's really it. Sounds perfectly fair to me, interrupted Daddy Pig. Peppa and her friends formed a circle and held hands. Five! Four, three, two, one, they all chanted. Jump! Wee! <laughs> Peppa and her friends made the biggest splash ever. Peppa and her friends are the winners, declared Mr. Potato. Well, I still think, began Mr. Elephant. Hooray! Everyone cheered loudly. Peppa loved her golden boots. Everyone loved their boots. And everyone loved the big puddle jumping competition. <laughs> the end. Peppa Pig, Daddy Pig's Office. Today, as a special treat, Peppa and George are visiting Daddy Pig's office. Daddy, what do you do at your office all day? asked Peppa. Lots of fun things, replies Daddy Pig. We're here, he tells the children as they arrive at a very tall building. Hello, says Daddy Pig into the intercom. Hello, Daddy Pig, says a voice. Can I press the button? Peppa asks. <laughs> of course, Peppa, Daddy replies. My office is at the top. We have to go up in the lift, Daddy Pig tells the children. Can I press the button? Asks Peppa excitedly. 
I think it's George's turn. Press the top button, please, George, says Daddy Pig. The lift takes him to the top floor. Hello, everyone, grants Daddy Pig. Hello, say Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Cat. They work with Daddy Pig. I have two very special visitors with me today, Peppa and George, says Daddy Pig. Let's begin a tour, suggests Daddy Pig. Mr. Rabbit, can we start at your desk? We certainly can, replies Mr. Rabbit. My job is all about numbers. I take important pieces of paper and stamp them with a rubber stamp. Mr. Rabbit tells him. Oh. Wow, gasped the children. Peppa likes stamping paper. <laughs> <laughs> On with the tour. Next is Mrs. Cat's desk, exclaims Daddy Pig. Hello, Peppa and George. Matt, says Mrs. Cat. Meow. My job is all about drawing shapes on a computer. Can I try? asked Peppa. I think it's George's turn, says Daddy Pig. Yes, it's your turn to work, George, says Peppa, agrees George. Mrs. Cat helps George to make lots of blue triangles. Now we print the triangles out, Peppa cries. The printer spits out sheets of paper everywhere. <laughs> George and Peppa think it's hilarious. Do you want to see my desk, Daddy Pig asks. Yes, please, says Peppa. Daddy Pig's job is very important. Do you use stamps or a computer? asks Peppa. No, replies Daddy Pig. I use coloured pens. Peppa and George love colouring pens. George is drawing a dinosaur. George always draws dinosaurs, says Peppa, bored. Dinosaur! Rrr, says George. <laughs> ding, ding! The office clock has just chimed. My goodness, five o'clock already, says Daddy Pig. It is time for Peppa, George and Daddy to go home. You've been doing my job very well, snorts Daddy Pig. I like doing Mr. Rabbit's job, and I like doing Mrs. Cat's job, but I like doing your job the best, Daddy, says Peppa. Peppa and George have had an excellent day at Daddy Pig's office. The End Learn with Peppa Pig, Level 5, Going Nowhere. Today Peppa Pig's family are travelling to a castle. Wow. Peppa wants to know if the castle is haunted. <gasps> Daddy Pig stares at the castle brochure. He looks a bit worried. I don't think so. Peppa and George race through the castle doorway. We are going to search for the creature that haunts this castle and capture it. Peppa shouts hopefully. The castle is not haunted, Peppa. Mummy Pig calls after them. Everyone ventures to the top of the castle's tall tower. Peppa and George gaze out over the water and sniff the salty sea air. Listen, what's all that noise? asks Peppa. Daddy Pig sighs. It's the big August boat race. We're going to miss it. Don't worry, says Mummy Pig. We can use the castle telescope to watch the race from here. Grandpa Pig won the prize trophy last year. I can see Captain Dog preparing for the race, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> Daddy Pig lifts Peppa up to watch the scene. All the boats are moored, but I can see some sailors talking. 
They're also wearing matching hats, says Peppa. Daddy Pig has another look. The competitors have pulled up their anchors. The race is almost ready to start. Where do the boats race to? asks Peppa. They travel past the lighthouse and back, says Mummy Pig. Wow! The boats will need to work hard to catch any wind in their sails today. Without a breeze, they'll be going nowhere. <laughs> Mummy Pig is right. The boats jostle in the water, but not one of them goes forward. Oh no! Just then, three loud blasts from a whistle echo across the water. <whistles> Has something gone wrong? Peppa gasps. The race has been paused because there's no wind, says Mummy Pig. Oh no! The race is cancelled. But some of the sailors still want to zoom past the lighthouse, so Grumpy Rabbit pulls them along behind his super fast hovercraft. Peppa watches from the castle as they tear past the rocks. I hope they don't get shipwrecked. Suddenly they hear a high-pitched sound. <gasps> Help! The castle really is haunted! Peppa wails. Mummy Pig holds up her telephone and laughs. It's just Grandpa Pig calling. <laughs> Mummy Pig asks Grandpa Pig about why he didn't take part in the race. I checked the weather forecast last night. It said there would be no wind, so it wasn't worth bothering. Granny Pig and I had a snooze in the garden instead. Hi kids, did you have fun watching this video? Then like and subscribe for more.